Okay, downside of trees, and if you have allergies, you're ahead of me and may not be a big fan of oak or ash or mulberry. The allergy you have may have set off an asthma attack. Asthma is one of those things doctors know a lot more about than they used to, and that's good because more and more people are suffering from it. Developing treatments, that's only part of the challenge here because you've still got to get those treatments to the people who need them. Hi, Yahid. How are you? Yahid McCurry is 12 years old, a soccer player, and an asthma sufferer. Horacio Sanchez is a landscaper who has the misfortune of being allergic to bee stings. Both are regular patients at St. Louis University Health Resource Center's Allergy and Asthma Clinic. It's in the Roberts Building on North Kings Highway. This zip code is the most medically underserved area in St. Louis. It's a free clinic open on Wednesday afternoons. A lot of the work here is done by SLU medical students like Megan Mannion, who volunteer their time and get good experience. Did you have to take a rescue inhaler on Saturday when I was acting up? No. They also have the benefit of working with Dr. Ray Slavin. In his 50 years in this field, he's seen great advances in research and treatment of asthma. At the same time, though, he's seen an increase in the number of people who suffer from it, especially children especially uh, in urban areas. The test was uh, there's lots of data in children uh, showing uh, that while the incidence of asthma in children in the state of Missouri is 10 percent, in the city of St. Louis it's 20 percent. Uh, the uh, emergency room visits are three times in, in St. Louis City what they are in the state, and the hospitalizations are three times what they are in the state. Three times. So go ahead and hold this up to your mouth. Put your mouth around that all the way. All right. I noticed with in his running and how sometimes he would have to stop and he'd be breathing deeply. And then one night uh, he had problems breathing and we went into the emergency room and uh, they did some tests there and they told us to go and see the doctor the next day. And that's when my other doctor said that I had asthma. Asthma can be caused by a genetic predisposition, say to some allergy, but there are also environmental factors. In urban areas, there's more pollution from industry. There's dust, exhaust from traffic. Fewer people have air conditioning to filter out allergens, and smoking and secondhand smoke is more prevalent. But a big part of this is lack of access to health care. No matter what the cause, asthma often goes undiagnosed and untreated which is why the SLU clinic was opened where it was opened. I want to emphasize too that we're, when we talk about asthma, we're talking about a reversible disease. It's treatable with appropriate medications. And so oftentimes the patient in the inner city is denied that. Uh, they, they simply either can't afford the medications or, or haven't been seen by an appropriate health care provider who can prescribe it. The right treatment, say a series of shots for the landscaper Sanchez or inhalers for Yahid, keeps their conditions under control and keeps them out of the most expensive form of treatment. The cost of an emergency room visit or hospitalization uh, far, far greater than the cost of the inhalers. Delighted. So come on with me and Megan. So this clinic has definitely been a blessing for us because I don't have to worry about, okay, you know, is this Medicaid okay? Do we have Medicaid this month? I can just bring them in here and it takes so much worry off of me. I mean, I don't know what I would have done without this clinic, really. And his breathing's good when he's out there oh, playing? Oh, huh? yes, yes, yeah. He's, they call him the gazelle on the soccer team. <laughs> When a patient tells you after you start them on an appropriate inhaler that it's changed my life, it doesn't get any better than that.